Last year, you learned about equivalent fractions, comparing fractions, and simplest form. Now, I know it's been a while since you've worked with fractions, so we're going to dust off those cobwebs before learning any new fraction concepts. Let's begin by reviewing a few key terms we should be familiar with for this unit. First, fraction. A fraction shows the number of parts in a whole. In the fraction shown here, one part is shaded orange. There are a total of four parts in the whole, so the fraction is one-fourth. Let's get comfortable using the math terms assigned to the two digits found in fractions. The top number is the numerator. The numerator is the number part. It tells you how many. Let's look at this figure, for example. How many parts are shaded? One part. See, the numerator names the number of parts. The bottom number is the denominator. The denominator is the name of the fraction. It tells you the total number required to make a whole. In this fraction, three parts makes a whole. So we name the denominator three. Our next term for review is equivalent fractions. 1 half, 2 fourths, 3 sixths, and 4 eighths are all equivalent fractions. They all name the same part of a whole. We can change a fraction into an equivalent fraction by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by the same number. 2 thirds and 6 ninths are equivalent fractions because they both name the same part of a whole. Notice how the shaded part, or the fraction of the circle, doesn't change when I turn two-thirds into six-ninths. You can also change a fraction into an equivalent fraction by dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number. Since both six and eighteen are divisible by six, I can divide to find an equivalent fraction. Six-eighteenths is the same as one-third. Notice how the shaded part, or the fraction of the circle, does not change when I turn 6 eighteenths into 1 third. Now we're ready to review simplest form. A fraction can be simplified when its numerator and denominator can be divided by the same number. 6 ninths can be simplified to the equivalent fraction 2 thirds by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 3. If it is not possible to divide both the numerator and denominator by any number except one, the fraction is said to be in simplest form. Two thirds is in simplest form because the only common factor of two and three is one. Since they do not have any other common factor, I'm unable to divide any further. Let's show 12 twentieths in simplest form. I see that both numbers are even, so I know they can both be divided by 2. I must divide both my numerator and denominator by 2 in order to receive an equivalent fraction. I divide and get the fraction 6 tenths. Is this fraction in simplest form? No. Even though I simplified it by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 2, it is not yet in simplest form. Looking at 6 tenths, I can see that both the numerator and denominator can be divided by 2 again. So I can simplify the fraction once more. I must divide the numerator and denominator by 2 to receive an equivalent fraction. And 6 tenths is now simplified to 3 fifths. Now this fraction is in simplest form because 3 and 5 do not have any other common factors besides one. Take out your notebook so you can copy and solve the following review problems. In the following problems, you will fill in the missing numerator or denominator to complete the equivalent fractions. For example, here I need to find the missing denominator. To do so, I must first determine how my numerator went from 2 to 8. To get from 2 to 8, I must multiply by 4. And I know to make an equivalent fraction, my numerator and denominator must be multiplied or divided by the same number. So in this case, I have to multiply my denominator by 4 as well. The missing denominator is 20. 
Copy the following problems into your notebook and solve. Press pause as you solve these problems. Press play when you're ready to try a few more. Now you're going to put a few problems in simplest form. Copy the following problems in your notebook and press pause as you solve them.